Hugh Lane and welcome to episode 2 of my eBay journey. So this is a bit of a mixed bag of stuff. I went into a few charity shops today having a look. Didn't actually end up getting anything. I And by the way my room is a bit of a mess right now. I've got this cool little drawer, uh, drawers, bookcase so I can store stuff. Uh, but anyway I went into some charity shops today and it was weird. I kind of felt super awkward but not through the shops uh they were just going about their business but it's like when you know you're in somewhere to try and make profit off charity um it feels kind of weird and i'm a very anxious person well i can be anxious i'm very emotional i can be an emotional being and i was walking through them and i was kind of just standing there i had my brother with me so just, which is kind of cool my brother was really supportive uh but it's like you just feel kind of not scummy because it's completely fine there's no problem in it because at the end of the day they're sending it to try and you know raise money for whichever charity we've got like a British Heart Foundation we've got a Mary Curie there's a few there and it's like they they want the money and they don't you know so I have to remember that I can do it and not worry about the fact that you know I'm making a few quid up a bit. I've still got to put the effort in to actually shift them. And that's what matters. You know, it's just, you know, it happens. And a lot of people do it anyway. Then it's, you know, it's a big thing. And, you know, I'm not going to let it stop me. But it's kind of really nervy. It kind of makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. Has anyone else felt like that when they first started? I'm talking in this UK, UK uh, reseller group. And like the people there, I mean, I'm posting it in this, you guys might see it. Thanks guys for helping me feel at ease. I just didn't, it's going to be a while. I think once I get used to it, into the mindset, it's fine. It's one thing knowing there's another thing actually getting on with it and doing it and not letting it bother you. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. I might go up again tomorrow and try another couple of places. Or I might even branch out a bit further because the charity shops I went to are local. It's kind of like, yeah. You don't really. It feels a bit weird when you they they don't know you are, but if, it's, if you're local, it's, you know I don't know. You, I can't explain what I'm saying, but hopefully you know what I mean. So yeah, it kind of out. I saw a couple of things of interest. One was uh, Simpsons on the PS2 Road Rage that game. It was a pound, but the box the box was okay, but the disc was heavily scratched. I actually picked them up and I was saying so anxious I was going to buy them and then like I kind of clicked myself out of being silly and then like I looked at them and I'm like yeah I can't pay for this and uh, that was the closest I came to buying anything there was there were books there but I, I just don't know I think I definitely need to find my niche to know what I'm going with the fortunate thing for me is I can still get on with selling and like I said bear with me my rim's a mess but this is the most interesting one that I've got I bought these loot crate boxes and of course this tracking is terrible Sorry for the bad lighting, um, but I got this. Of course, the light's really bad. Tracer, and it's an exclusive pop figure. These are really popular anyway. Guess how much it's worth? I can get, and I paid thirty pound for the loot box. I'm gonna get about forty to fifty quid. There's a one up there at the moment for thirty-five. I'm not setting game of Thrones yet. That's to read. This is just like. Me sorting in my room, so a lot of this stuff won't go. Um, but then, like, I don't know how much I've got a Fable 3 Collector's Edition. There's a couple of cards that are bent in there, but it's fine. Um, I've got Skyward Sword, the controller's there, but the box is actually over inside the room. I've actually got the full game, um, the full box, limited collector's edition, which has all the different, it has all the relevant stuff in there. Get about 50, between 50 and 70 quid for that. And then I was surprised. Uh, I have Pokemon War. I haven't finished a game, but I just need to get my bank up. I really do. So I don't care about if I profit or lose on it. Um, money now is money I've got, which I just didn't have before. That's ignore that because I use that regular. So that will actually that will actually get about twenty pound. No, thirty pound. Yeah, thirty pound. So that'll go. That's mine. I need that. I don't know if that would sell. Uh, it's a pre-order pack. It was free with the game that I bought. Uh, I might sell the game as well. Then I've got a little towel. Uh, Miku. See, I'm a, I'm kind of a gamer and stuff normally. 
but so all this stuff kind of relevant. That's a friends can't sell that. I got. I've got a. I've got a Harry Potter DVD. Now I know that they're quite popular, so I'm going to try and keep an eye out for those. Um, I've got Nino Cooney. I've got the full game for that. It comes with a doll and a book. Uh, that'll get about nine quid. The doll. But then um, there's this book which I've got with it, and I paid eighty pounds for that. I might be able to get the back. This apparently might sell for like 35 quid. But like I say, I might not make much profit on the original price I paid because I paid full retail. But I did buy it originally to sell. I bought it for me. And then like these are a bunch of games I'm looking to sell. I've actually got a Guitar Hero, the guitar, the actual guitar. The one problem is I've got to do with it is I've got to fix it. Bear me a second. Um, a battery leaked in it. As far as I can see, it looks it's it's just rusty so it might just need screws taken out my brother's good with that kind of stuff though so he could take it out give it a clean uh, i can get some new connects for a few quid um and that will fetch me about 35 to 30 quid 30 to 35 pounds so like i say these are all old things so considering i can pay that and get that money back that's good and I got Dark Souls, all, all these games. Nier, that's a really popular game. Well, it's not, it's, it's a collectible game. Um, I loved it. Get back 30 quid for that. I've got three of these, might sell them for like 13, 14 quid. So, I don't know how much it's all going to be worth, but you know, pretty good. At the moment, I've got up uh, No Man's Sky for sale. And this is just me resetting it. Um, I, it's. I might get about 30 quid, but yeah, I've got quite a few games and stuff that I want to get rid of, so there's quite a lot of potential profit there to be made. I've got my Pokemon cards at the moment. I actually can't believe this. This is crazy. This isn't as like, oh wow, what the hell, compared to that one. But this Charizard, right, the edges are quite good. It's quite a decent card. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, the edges are a bit faded and the back there's damage, but nothing major, just like a bit part damage. Uh, like rough edges. That's got that went up to 1650 within a couple of days as an auction. That's good. Um I got a right shoe up for sale. That'll get me two quid before fees, but there's people watching that. So already, even though like and actually buy the Pokemon cards, I'm two Pokemon cards. It's all stuff that I bought it, I bought myself over time, and it's nice to see that I could probably raise a good couple of hundred quid. Even my Wii U, I'm looking to get rid of. I feel like I need to start building up the funds, because uh, my biggest concern is I work in retail anyway, and I work full time, and Christmas time I work nights, so for the next few months I'm not going to be able to source much, and of course car boots won't happen. But I'm hoping from next year I start doing car boots. It might be easier to get to car boot sales. Uh, and just keep an eye out and spend the time over the next few months figuring out what people want to buy and go from there because it's hard when you've got no money then of course I've got some retail arbitrage stuff I can't remember if I showed that I did record some videos but I decided not to actually upload them because I'm going to keep them for memory sake I'm not going to put them up uh, I bought some of these a Playmobil the bus um, I paid £15 for those and they will sell for about £27 so I might make about £4 on each that's about £12 profit then I got these things ages ago I was going to start originally doing retail arbitrage yeah my room's falling apart I'm doing all my stuff in my room so it's messy these are paid £11.99 for and if I could sell them for 25 I will do. There's one box, there's one that's got the box slightly battered, but that's fine. I can get rid of that. And then I'm kind of worried about these actually. Roku streaming sticks are paid 19 99 half price. They retail for 40 I might be able to get 30 for it at 29 99 They seem to sell. So about a £5 profit there. So on these, if I can make say 4, 8, 5, 10, uh, that's 12, that's 22. So it's a five pound profit on each, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty, fifty five. About a forty pound profit there, which isn't bad. So yeah, it might be pretty good. And yeah, my room's an absolute tip on reorganising it on a hoarder. So I need to make sure I've got the room to be able to do anything. But yeah, 
it's kind of, it's kind of, meh. What's that? Sorry, I'm just reading stuff. But yeah, thanks guys for all the advice in the group. I really do appreciate you uh, giving me these heads up, like all these different tips and tricks. <sighs> yeah. It's weird. I really want to make this work and I just, I don't know, I'm a very, like I say, I'm a very anxious person. I can be, um, just a bit through nature. And yeah, it's just one of the things I have to deal with and, you know, make, make what I can from it. I was, like I say, I was going to do retail arbitrage, but it's just so much. I mean, I'm trying to do other things as well, like I'm doing match betting and all these different things. I'm trying to get it to a point when, because I feel like anything I want to do, if I put my mind to it, I can make work. I feel like I could do it and then just want to be able to make it so I can, you know, make a full time living off of it. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Anything I make on this will get stored away in my bank. It won't be touched. I'll probably put it in savings and only take the money out when I'm planning to buy stuff. You know, like the usual tactics, maybe like go to a challenge shop with like 20 quid, go to a car boot with like 30 quid or whatever and limit myself. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But thanks guys for watching this little mini haul video and it's not really a haul, it's kind of like this is the stuff I've got to sell. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions or advice for a newbie, what would you say are the things that I should be looking at? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm gonna get off now because, like I say, I, this is a topic that makes me feel a bit, I'm not really nervous, nervous, normally nervous when it comes to recording videos. But for some reason, this one's kind of an interesting one. But anyway, I'm waffling. Thanks guys for watching. I'm not, like I say, I'm not interested in making videos that are perfect. I want to show you the real me because that's what it's about to me. Vlog the journey, show the journey, and talk about how well we've done. Uh, did I show you my results? No. Thanks guys for watching. I'm going to get off. Take care guys, and I'll see you later.